Right now we're talking to Kerala Kings uh, icon player and captain Owen Morgan. And of course, since the last time we spoke to him, the latest development is that Robin Singh has uh, joined the team as coach. Owen, uh, welcome once again to the UAE. I think you're, you're becoming a regular now. I feel like you're, you're living here almost. Um, but of course, uh, wonderful having you here. And what did you think about the step of the UAE players draft being sort of a mini draft before the main event? I think it's brilliant. It's certainly one of the positives of this tournament so far. I think um, integrating uh, the host um, association is so important because it creates huge opportunity for those guys to to play in in the equivalent of international games. You know, they rub shoulders with 10, 12 of the best international players around the world and with that comes gaining experience and sometimes playing with your idols. So I know when I first played in the IPL I got to open the batting with Jax Callis and that was quite, a, quite an awesome feeling so I hope that happens for some of their guys and like I mentioned it's, it's a huge opportunity for them to go out and express themselves and have no pressure on their shoulders. It was only a few weeks ago that we spoke to Robin Singh because he was going to be coaching at an academy over here and now suddenly he's right in the middle of UAE cricket so to speak. Um, when you come to a league like this and you're meeting people and suddenly you have to gel with them over a very short period of time, how challenging is that? Yeah, it certainly can be one of the issues. I think certainly from a coach and captain's point of view you try and set the tone pretty early and lead by example and, and, and almost enjoy the fun element of it. It's, it's, it's going to be quite an exciting and entertainment based tournament so from that side of things as long as the players realise where they stand and, and what their role is within the team I think that can set a good precedent. I think Robin's experience over the years will help you as obviously been at Mumbai Indians for a very long time and the Barbadian Tridents as well and the CPL so it's very much appreciated getting him on board. Now I'm aware of some of the names uh, that are going to be mentioned tomorrow I, I, I won't give away the surprises and a lot of big names that people are not sure about uh, from the South African side as well and we have the Sri Lankan team edition as well. Um, do you feel a sense of excitement now with all these big names because of course fans and especially children get very excited um, you're also seen as one of the players for whom youngsters can, can learn from so how um, important is it these leagues, the seniors experience and youth being able to mix together? I think it's hugely important and I think the draft process complements that. I think that it creates a fine balance within the team, whereas you have very experienced international cricketers playing with inexperienced international cricketers or sometimes domestic cricketers. And I think that culminates within a team and how you utilise that throughout the tournament obviously depends on how well you do. So it creates a challenge, but I think a really exciting challenge. Uh, one of the interesting things is that for Pakistan, the bilateral series, we've generally had them in October and November, even when we've had two series per season. Once it was England that were here playing in late December, and we were talking to uh, Khuram Khan, uh, who, who is part of uh, one of the teams, Bengal Tigers, and he mentioned that there's quite a bit of fog in Sharjah in December in the evening, and it'll be a bit difficult for the bowlers. Uh, so do you think, um, you know, that's, you know, everyone's already saying it's a batsman's game because of uh, the lesser over. So do you think uh, that, uh, as, as always, the bowlers are going to have a tougher time? Um, I don't know. Obviously, Kurum has played here for a very, very long time um, and he would know better than I would. But I think when you look at it, you know, it's, it's the evolution of a new game, it's exciting. It's also nervous at the same time. But nobody knows what's going to work. I think the, that's the exciting part of it. And as long as all teams throw themselves at it as, as best they can, I think there's going to be a lot of entertainment on offer. And uh, finally, we've spoken about the uh, the lessons that younger players will take but for someone as experienced as yourself do you think as a captain now the fact that you'll have to make decisions much more faster in the field is that going to be something uh, something progressive i think it is i think it's going to be brilliant um it's almost not taking every over it's every ball as it comes and that becomes another challenging thing for the captain and the bowler and everybody else involved so it's only for 90 minutes. Normally we concentrate for three and a half hours or two hour sessions over five days. So again, the evolution of it is the really exciting part of it. This could change the game either for, for better or worse. We don't know yet, but it's, it's testing the boundaries to those you know, audiences that are untapped at the moment that potentially don't get enough exposure to the game of cricket. Owen Morgan, thank you so much.